here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm starting another new project. I've already got I don't know how many new projects on the go. But anyway, we'll start another one. Because um, I really love collage and I was thinking, so I've just been down to the um, shop down here, my local IGA, which is a supermarket. And while I was there, I thought I'll grab a, just a scrapbook, because I wanted something kind of large. And this is, how big is this? Doesn't even say on there, does it? No, it doesn't say. But this must be, let's see, 30. Must be about, well... 33 and a bit centimetres long and about 24 centimetres wide. And what I want to do, so I just want to explore, because I love doing collage, and I just wanted to explore just doing collages and just being free with it, not having to be precious about it. So I just got a scrapbook. It's nothing fancy that I can just play in, which is what I was wanting to do. Just play, do whatever, you know, just experiment with. So I've got this, I want to cover it. So I've got this um, piece of paper, which is a jelly print. And I thought I would cover it. I'm going to see if it's got, oh yeah, oh not quite, but anyway I'm just going to put this on and then I'm going to put more, more on. So I'll put this on to begin with I think. So what I'll do is I think I will, just trying to work out what the best way to attach it would be. to use wet glue. I guess wet glue is probably going to be the worst. This. It is a bit of a shiny surface so um, maybe wet glue would be the best. I think wet glue might be the best. Alright. Um, I'm going to get, I'm just going to use I'm just going to use PBA glue. I'm just going to get my big bottle. I just got my big, uh, it's an old uh, tomato sauce bottle. And because I buy my PBA glue, I buy it from my hardware store and I buy it in bulk and then I just put it in here and then I also put it in uh, my, in a smaller bottle as well. So I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to think I've got a bit of a, a bit of a glue thing here. That I need to take off. Okay, so I think what I'll do, I'm just trying to work out if I should, if I should put it, do it that way, and that way it kind of covers it all, doesn't it? If I do it that way, maybe I should. Do it that way. Do it that way. And I could use another piece that I've got here. Decision decisions. It's not easy to make decisions. 
believe I should come around there. Because what I'm thinking, the first page, I think I'm just going to glue that to here. Will that make... Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. Alright, I'm going to do it like this. So I'm just going to fold this because that's going to go... That's going to go on the inside. What I might do is I might put some glue on here. Try not to get it. Try not to get it on the pages because then all my pages will stick together if it goes on the side okay so let me ah. okay so now I just want to pop it Oh, I thought it was sticking everywhere. I'm just going to pop this corner in. Like so. And I'm just going to get a card. Just to smooth it out. Pages. Eh, oh, too late. I've got glue on my pages. Too late. I've already got glue everywhere. So I'm just going to make sure I'm not just uh, grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut some of this off. the page underneath and I think what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit of glue there and I think I'm going to need I think I'm going to need to put glue on this bit So it's not so bulky. It's getting 
kind of dark in here. Getting a bit of a uh, cloud coming over. Not 100% sure if it's going to rain or not. Getting a few wrinkles, but I'm okay with that. Most of them smooth out with a card. this bit Glued it very well. bubbles in there. I didn't do a very good job of uh, spreading the glue around. Never mind. Okay. Oh, let me have a look. Sorry, I think I've knocked a camera. Just let me. Have liked that to have been stuck down properly, but oh well, should be all right. Anyway, it's just a fun thing. Any, it's just a fun thing for myself. Now, what did I want to do? I wanted to put a piece on here, so I'm thinking I'm going to. Let me see. I'm just, just going to bend that over. That would be a good idea. And I might just see. Put that on there. And then that's the edge there. I'm just going to get rid of some of that white edge on here. And I think I'm just going 
going to use my ruler. This way, got that edge bent now. So, um, just need the glue now. So, I think I will put some glue down. I'm gonna put too much glue down. Might have put too much glue down, I think. Yes, I definitely have. Uh, I need to put it somewhere. Hang on. Just let me get something. I'm just going to put it on here. Because I can use it on the inside. doesn't soak in very much on this one because it's got the shiny surface okay so now I'm just gonna grab that And I'm just cutting the corners off. Some more glue down.
trying to make sure that I'll get the glue everywhere this time. Because it's soaking in. Tear that bit off that I cut. Now. Just dries really quickly on on that paper. make it that wet so it goes all sloppy and make the whole um, book get too, too wet. Yeah, I've got bubbles in this one as well. Alright, I'm just going to turn you off for a minute while I clean up a little bit, get rid of some of this glue that I've got everywhere and I'll be back in a tick. Alright, I cleaned up and I've had a little play around with some images. So what I'm thinking, excuse me, is I'm thinking of putting her here, I've cut her out. Um, I want to change her face. I've got another eye for her, another eye, I've got a necklace, I've got a necklace that I'm going to slip around her neck, something like that and I've got a little matching for her ear that I'll put on there. And for her hat, I've got this big, beautiful flower. And I think I'm going to put it about there. About there somewhere. And I've got a little bit of material. Got this little um, vintage material that I was going to put along here for her dress and necklace will go on top so something like that oh and I got some lips I want her lips to be a little bit bigger so I've got some lips that I'm going to put on top Something like that. So it'll be something like that. Now I also wanted to put, I was thinking of putting something in her, like a bird or something in her hair, in her hat thing. Ah. Yeah, look. 
the small birds here. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. wanting some a bird or something I was thinking a bird but it could, but it could be something else as well but I was thinking a bird let me see what I've got here uh, that wouldn't be too bad Good size. I think these ones are too small. I think those ones are too small. Yeah, same as those ones. I think they're too small. I think it needs to be kind of big. So I might just cut. I might just. Pussy cut um, this bird out. it is now I don't want that perch that he's sitting on but I do want his feet I think I think I want his feet we'll see we'll see we can always remove them if need be but I don't want them Maybe something like that. I think I like that. All right. Just trying to think what order. I was thinking I was wanting Connor to do something with her, some more with her, but I don't know exactly what I want to do so I might have a little think about it and then I'll be back hello kitty uh, it's it's the next day um, I was kind of ran out of time last night so I've just been messing around a bit Messing around too much. This is just supposed to be a easy, fun, not too much thinking kind of a journal. But I guess I sort of want the, the cover to be, you know, really nice. Well, as nice as I can make it anyway. Um, so I've just been playing around. Um, I did have some lips for her, but I seem, to, I seem to have lost them. I'm not sure where they are. What are you doing, baby? doing she's very really unsettled today um so i'm just trying to work out how i'm going to glue it down i think i'm going to glue it down and then 
what I might do is actually I might go in with pens and stuff and muck around with it that way so um, just trying to think what I might do is I think I might actually glue her eye on paper to glue on just gonna grab her eye Just gonna burnish it a bit with a cloth. Make sure it's glued on. Now I want to put the necklace on. Gonna have to be careful of this so I don't rip it. chin off so I can slip this underneath I just need to work out where it's going to go If my head's getting away, I'm just trying to trying to see. Okay, I'm just gonna cut that bit off. Again, to with her earring, I'm gonna put that on her earring, so I'm just gonna keep this. I'm gonna cut that little bit off there, like so. glue on that Yeah, I think that's good. She's got 
some bling. And I want this behind her face. So what I might do is I might I might just put some glue on here. And position that behind here. Get it all lined up. No, I haven't got it right. Try to do this about tearing her. And I want the bird sitting on this petal, so I think I will glue the bird on there. I don't get uh, things start sticking together. I'm just going to be careful with this flower too. Um, actually, I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna have to glue her down first before I start doing any gluing. Bit. 
think about there was where I was looking at putting her. glue down just on here. Glue's just about dried now. Okay, just let me try and smooth this out. I think what I'm going to have to do is put glue on the page. Trying to get her without getting her all wrinkly. Hmm, I might actually have to start in the middle. See if I can get, lift this off without wrecking her. bit of a disaster. A little bit of a disaster. I think I'm going to have to try and going to have to put the glue on the page I think. I think if I try to um, if I try to put glue on her I think I'm just going to end up tearing her more. going to have to glue as I go.
Alright, this is working better now. It's very hard when you've got a very large piece to put on to try and um, get, it, get it down without getting it all um, wrinkly. So I don't want her all wrinkly. Sorry, I have them in frame, yeah. There's my glue stick. Alright. Grab my glue stick off the ground. Put a little bit more glue on the earring. Start coming up with all the rubbing. Alright, let me see with the flower. I'm going to have to put glue on that again. So I want that approximately like that. Alright, I might just have to glue a little bit here and it feels quite large too so I think it's going to be too hard to try and glue the whole thing. this bit down. I don't want that like that, I think. Let me see. Something like that, I think. A little bit of paper, so I'm gonna have to get a pen and just colour her in a little bit. Just making sure I've got glue everywhere. Now I've just got the those couple of bits of flowers we gotta put them. Oh, now I've lost the flowers I was gonna put on here. What happened to them? Getting all crowded in. Uh, 
What happened to my flowers? Not there. They fall on the floor. And I'll put them in the bin accidentally. No. Are they on the sheet somehow? Just gonna have to pause the video, I think, while I hunt around. I don't know what's happening to them. I don't know what's happened to them. I did have them just here, didn't I? When I start it, must be on the ground. No. All right, I'm just going to pause it while I try and find them. They have to be here somewhere. All right, I found them. They were underneath my paper here. I don't know how they got under there. Okay, so I want to put one here and one there, I think, just to cover kind of need something there now as well to cover that tear there. I'm going to have to do something with that. I don't know what. I'll have to have a think about it. I'll pop this one like that. I need some more of that somewhere. I've got a couple of pieces of this this flower business. Wonder if I could put one. Not just. Cut it and then I can just fussy cut the flower out a bit. So I could have it like that. Let me see. I like that. No, I guess that's alright. Don't mind it, but then I might need something up here somewhere as well. Just to even it out. Yeah, I might do that. Just going to.
something like that. All right, so that covers that little boo-boo there. So that's good. And now I'm just wondering, I feel like I need something up there somewhere. What happened to the... There it is. wondering if I should put something so what I might do is I might just cut this flower because then I can um, play with it and see I've still got some more of these if I should put don't know. <coughs> excuse me Maybe not. Maybe I just won't worry about having anything. No, I think I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. down a bit more and her lip there got a bit of a gap in here so I'm just gonna stick a little bit of wet glue in there I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cover the whole thing with some um, Liquitex um, matte medium. It'll just help with the, I don't know. Um, then here I don't like about magazine Liquitex. I love this. This is so fantastic for um, reducing gloss and also as a... Um, you can use it as a glue. I don't use it as a glue for these sort of projects, but for um, if I was doing a canvas, I would definitely use it for collaging on a canvas.
Um, the other thing you can use, of course, is just PVA glue. I'm just uh, spreading, actually, I'm just going to open up the book. And it'll also um, help protect it. To um, let this dry, and um, then I'll come back and I'm going to look at that's bubbly there. I didn't get it glued down very well just there. Oh well, can't do anything about it now. So I'm just going to let that dry. And, um, and I'll come back with some pens. I think I'm going to do a little bit of um, doodling on there once it's dry. All right, so I'll be back. And it's not quite dry, but I, d I did have a thought. I want to put some words up there, and I found this in my stash of words, of words that I cut out from magazines and things. This is Art Attack. So I'm going to put that on there. Uh, I think I'm actually going to no. I think I'm just gonna cut them out. Thought I would rip it but something bad's gonna happen if I do that I think. So I think I'm just going to cut around them just to have a little white edge If you haven't um, tried collage, um, you should really try it. It's a lot of fun. And really try just to be really loose with it and not and not get too um, caught up in the details. So this book here, I want to just try I want to try some different kind of collaging. I like doing this sort of collage with the magazines and all that, but in this one, I just want to try doing some different sort of collage. Um, I've been looking on the internet, I can't remember who I was watching, someone, and um, I just liked her style. And I want to try it. So basically I just want to try sort of collaging my <clears throat> painted papers and make collages with um, all that sort of stuff. And just see what happens.
yes I do like that there um, I think I'm just going to grab my just gonna grab my just cleaning my brush off I had it in water I'm just going to put some more matte medium on and glue that. I don't think I got that straight. Now, can I get it off without tearing it? Yep. Okay. Try again. That looks better. Good. All right. I'm not happy with that. And I will let that dry and I'll come back and do a little bit of um work with my pens and pens and things all right this is all dry and I've uh, pulled out some pens and stuff um, just trying to work out what I'm gonna start I think I might I think I might start I think I'm just going to go around and just uh, go around the bird here just using my Oops, wrong, wrong lid. Just using my Faber Castell pit pens. And I 
I've just got my water brush. Now I was wanting to make her lips a bit more defined. I'm just trying to figure out what I want, how I want to do it. Oh yeah, that's working pretty good. That's giving her nice luscious lips. And the other thing I want to do, I wanted to give her some uh, rosy cheeks. So I might just... Um, I'll just try this colour here first. I might just pop a little up with some of these um, Tombows. watercolour brushes. Bought three of them when I was, I don't know where I was. Somewhere. Some shop. And I thought I'd buy a few just to try. tried these before. This is a uniball white. Oh yeah, I thought I might go around the flowers. Go around the outside of the petals just to give them a little more definition sort of thing.
that's cool. Quite like that. What I should do with the flower for shot dog. Go around with the white pen on the flower. I don't know. I'm not sure I want to. I was thinking of maybe doing a little bit, a little bit of yellow in there. Now I think the birdie needs a little going around it. Um, might do I'm not just leave that like that. And I'm wondering if I should um, actually darken this a bit. Because with him sitting there, it would definitely be a shadow there, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be bright like it is. white on there kind of want to get rid of that I think so I'm thinking this colour might do it let me see yes this colour will be just fine Give her that um, white. That's better. And I'll just let that dry and then I might actually might go around with the white maybe. No, I'll let it dry.
Now the other thing I was going to do is I'll just grab my. So I might just go around. I've got a big, um, a big pit pen. I might just go around the edge. That's good. And I'll just be back in a tick. Um, that's dry. Now I'm just wondering if I should. Let's let me see. I'll just do a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's going around there. The outside. Now I was actually thinking um this looks more like a glue book to me than um, collage. Well, not the sort of collage I was thinking of doing. So, I'm actually thinking I might have to buy another one of these books and start again. <laughs> um... what I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure yet. I might just have to think about it a little bit more. There. And because this looks more like a glue book to me than um the sort of collage that I was wanting to do. So maybe I should just turn this into like a glue book and do this sort of collage where I'm using because the other collage that I was wanting to sort of have a go at doing was not using magazine, it'll just be my painted papers and doing abstracty sort of stuff on there. That's what I was thinking. Um, and looking at this, it doesn't quite look right now. So I might, um, <coughs> excuse me, I might make this into a more like a glue book collage, where I collage images and <coughs> things like that. And and I might buy another one of these and and do what I was thinking of in there. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do any more on her or not. I'll have a think about it. A lot of times, um, if I just leave things, I sort of, sometimes something will happen and I'll have an idea or something. So I might leave it here and um, 
I'll um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video and we'll see we'll see what happens what I decide to do all right well thank you for stopping by and and um, watching the video um, if you'd like to subscribe that would be wonderful and uh, leave a comment I love uh, reading all your comments and um, and I'll see you next time guys have a wonderful day bye bye hi I just thought I'd show you I just did a bit more on the on the book I've done a bit more just gone around with some black and just um, defined the flower a bit and uh, um, just around the edge and I also went in and did this <laughs> um, so that's what I'm thinking this book will be more of a collage where I'm using magazine and book images and things rather than what I'm thinking and I'm going to buy another one to do to do what I sort of got in my head to do yeah so this one turned out really cute quite happy with it I think it's finished I'm not 100% sure but I want to do some more to it yet Quite often I'll go back and do something at a later date. Alright, well that's it for this video. I'm going to finish it off now. And, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.